hello guys and welcome back to another video if you're new around here then my name is london hustle and as you can see by the floor it has been raining today uh, there's been a few showers throughout the day hopefully it's not going to rain again it might rain in about an hour or so for a little bit but hopefully that's going to be all it's a tuesday evening time is just about to hit six o'clock so hopefully we're going to be very busy with orders tonight and look at that we're getting an order in almost straight away this oh this is a really nice order actually the restaurant's really close to me and it's taking me down towards baker street which is the direction i was going to head anyway so yeah we'll definitely uh, go ahead with this one 9985 cheers mate thank you cheers. perfect it was ready straight away This customer is 1.8 miles away and it's going to be about 9 minutes so I think the price it's paying is pretty fair for that distance but the main thing that I'm happy about is it's taking me in the direction I was going anyway so yeah very happy to get an order like this to start off the shift. I always like to think that the first order of a shift will play a role in how the rest of the shift will go so so distracted wondering what that was on that woman's arm to my uh, left there but yeah usually the first order of the day dictates the rest of the shift so hopefully we're gonna have a good one here it seems like it's good so far it is a absolutely lovely evening though despite it being wet on the floor the temperature is beautiful right now so it's a perfect evening to come out and do deliveries even if it does rain i feel like i'm going to be so much more protected on this bike than i uh, am on a push bike one because i'm going to have a massive full face helmet on to keep my head nice and dry but i've got all my motorcycle gear on which is waterproof as well i'm actually quite excited to do a shift in the rain oh uh, look guys i'm sure some of you will recognize this but we're coming up to the famous abbey studios here abbey road studios on our right and then this crosswalk here uh, where you can see there's so many people around is where the beatles took that really famous photo this is one of the only zebra crossings that doesn't really feature like a zebra crossing because if you were to stop and wait for the people there then you would never actually move and the people know that the cars know it the bikes know it it just operates a little bit different so if you're ever in london and you drive past that and you think what on earth is going on at least now you'll know Hi hey mate, you ordered? Hello. Hi. Do you have the code please? Yes, yeah, sorry. The code? 59. Show the code? There you are, sir. Yeah. Five nine. Enjoy. Oh, this guy is going to almost stop. He's going to have to stop in the yellow box. Just because that sports car pushed in front of him. Oh, must be annoying for that guy. Alright, that is the first order dropped off of the evening. I'm sure there'll be many more in this video, so stick around and I'll bring you back when we get our next order. And almost straight away we get another order come through. £4.94 from Bright Courtyard. And it's packed the opposite way, of course it is. Alright, let's see what we're picking up. Ooh, it's a big old order. Nine items. Mini spare ribs, half crispy duck, some beef strips, fried lamb slices with cumin seeds and chilli, sweet and sour pork. Oh my god, so much food. Dry fried chili chicken special fried rice steamed rice and spicy singapore noodles wow it's a really big order let's hope it's ready quick usually this place takes a little while and the fact this is a really big order i don't have my uh, my hopes up but this is the bright courtyard here also known as dim sum it's a really really beautiful uh, restaurant can you see all the lobsters look at them all just chilling about to be someone's dinner hello i have an order 818 is it both of those bags yep yeah, thank you Goodbye lobsters. All right, order successfully picked up. It's actually quite heavy, surprisingly. Let's check how far away our customer is. Nine minutes, very good. And <laughs> it's actually nine minutes the opposite way to where we went earlier. So we were like in Swiss Cottage area when we picked up our first order. Now we're in Baker Street and we've got an order that's taken us back up to Swiss Cottage. So if you didn't already know, mopeds in London have these designated bike bays that they can park in. Like this, for example, great timing. However, you do have to pay for that during certain periods of the day. However, you're just gonna cross are you when it's not even a green light for you. So if you're on a normal moped, that isn't electric you actually have to pay for those i'm not sure the exact amount i don't think it's very much at all whereas electric motorcycles just can park there completely free so yeah happy days for us so whenever i get an order at a restaurant and stuff i'm always looking to find one of those little bike bays and then go collect the order Wow, what a very fancy building this is. I think I actually delivered here a couple of days ago. They should come out and get the order off me and take it up. At least that's what they did last time. Doesn't look like anyone's coming out. Let's call the concierge. Hi, hey, mate. Give me the coat, but I forgot it. I'll get it for you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Give it to <laughs> No worries, I understand. 
that's one bag. Two bags. Uh, yes, it is. Wow, how nice is this place? This is unreal. Probably cost a pretty penny to live here. I'm gonna stand outside. I don't feel worthy. <laughs> 88. Yeah, that's, that's great. Thank you. There we go. That is the second order of the day dropped off, and I've not even had a chance to move. And we're getting another order. Five pound twenty-seven from Pizza Hut. It's been a while since I've delivered a pizza order, but I quite enjoyed them. So I've gone ahead and took it. It's always quite fun to uh, have a little guess, see how many pizzas you reckon are going to be in the order. <laughs> I had once where there was uh, ten orders, ten orders, ten pizzas in one order. That was uh, that was interesting. I'm going to go for four in this one. I reckon four pizzas on two sides. Let's see if I'm right. All right, I've got six hundred. Please accept one. Thank you. Thank you. My god, my guess was way off. There's 15 pizzas in this order, but luckily it's split between a few different riders. Oh man, the rain is really coming down now. This was not predicted at all. This is torrential, man. Oh my god, I'm getting soaked. What the hell? Yo weather forecast man you need to do better this is ridiculous i said i was looking forward to the rain earlier i think it took me literally oh my god damn it i was not prepared for this amount of rain i was prepared for rain don't get me wrong but not at this level hopefully you guys are okay there and not getting too well i'm gonna put my visor down that's a little bit that's probably a better idea isn't it holy cow man Ooh, it's cold and it's wet oh the fun of being a delivery rider eh? oh and my phone's gonna mess up now because i haven't got a protector because usually when it's a low level of rain, it doesn't need it. <laughs> Man, this is ridiculous. All right, let's go get this delivered. Anyway, we have four pizzas or five pizzas on our back right now. Oh my God, look at, look at that. That's ridiculous. It said a very light shower. I don't know about you, but I do not call this a light shower. It just came out of nowhere as well. The weather was so nice. It was so lovely. I was, I was really looking forward to this shift. <laughs> Oh, this is this is horrible, man. We've got to try keeping light spirits, though. Otherwise, uh, otherwise we're going to have a terrible afternoon. Don't worry, I'm not planning on going in at all. We're going to stay out and uh, we're going to suffer through all this. Once I drop this order, I'm going to recheck the weather forecast. Not that it's uh, going to be accurate because, I mean, it wasn't accurate this time. Oh, can we just stay underneath this bridge? It's nice and dry under here. <laughs> I don't think anyone was prepared for this. Look at every... There's like very few people with umbrellas. Usually when it rains in London, everyone's got umbrellas already ready. But yeah, look, everyone's just soaked. No one was prepared for this at all. I am so wet right now. I'm like a drowned rat. Look at my leg. It's like... <laughs> oh man, this is... <laughs> why why me why me it's hard to portray across on camera because you're probably sat there in your nice warm house in bed or on the sofa you know you're not out here in this freezing cold rain getting absolutely soaked through less than an hour into your shift and the one good thing about the rain though is we are more likely to get a tip off the customer if the customer sees me turn up like this surely they gotta feel sorry for me i would feel sorry for me i do feel sorry for me i hope you guys feel sorry for me if you do drop a like on this video because that would be uh that'd be great oh this is pretty cool guys the rain stopped a little bit that's not what i was on about though we're delivering to the microsoft office so looks like they've done a big work order just need to find the actual building now because uh there's a lot of buildings around here this place is huge <laughs> mate for the microsoft office you go event or you go meeting no it's a delivery pizza yeah what you do it's coming where am i from yeah. london Brazil. Brazil, nice. Uh, I was in Brazil uh, last month. You like football? Soccer? So soccer? Yeah, I watched um, Palmeiras. Sorry? You know Palmeiras? Wait, do I have it on? Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Palmeiras. Palmeiras. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I watched their game. <laughs> oh, guys, my camera died. I've just had to go all the way back to the bike to get a new battery. Uh, we dropped off the order there, the Pizza Hut order, to the Microsoft team. And we're getting another order now from Sainsbury's, £2.90. Paying very little. Surprised it's paying so little with the weather like this. But I'm right next to Sainsbury's, so I might as well take it. And it's taking me back the direction I was going to head. So, yeah, it's a bit of a no-brainer, this one. Nine items. We are picking up eggs. Oh, it's always a bit risky when you pick up some eggs. Uh, raspberries, sausages, some gingers, cucumbers, avocados. Ah, decent. No water, no milk. What we love to see. Alright guys, so my camera just died again. I think that time it was to do with the rain. I think some water got inside, I don't know, but it seems to have got it back up and running now. We have the Sainsbury's order on our back and the customer is seven minutes away and the rain has stopped, so hopefully it's stopped for good. Hopefully we don't get a 
quick shower or a light shower like uh, we just got then. Right, delivery for flat 317. Can I leave the order here? Cheers, mate. 317. We just dropped off that Sainsbury's order. Uh, the customer asked me just to leave it in reception and she sent over the code, so all is good there. And as I was just getting my bike, I got a order come through from a fish and chip shop. It's only like a minute behind me, but this is a one-way street, so we need to go all the way around to get there, but it's no dramas. And let's go pick it up. Here we are at the fish and chip shop. I'm at 6910. Cheers, thank you. This customer's gone for battered cod with some chips. Very standard order from a fish and chip shop there. And they are a total of 0.5 miles away. Yeah, and we're going past Paddington Station, which is on our right here. The rain is starting to trickle down a little bit more, but it's still really fine right now. I don't mind this. I don't mind the fine rain. That's what I was prepared for. When I checked the weather forecast, it said slight showers. This is exactly what I thought. We got a monsoon instead of slight showers though. Oh, I think I'm at the wrong entrance here. Mate, delivery for flat 51. 51. That's not here, mate. Where is that? It's on the other side. Other side, okay. That's right. That is two wrong entrances for two. I'm gonna go get my bike and move it to the other side because I do not want to get a ticket. That'd be disastrous. The rain is not gonna ruin my mood, but a ticket certainly will. Sorry about the long time. I went to every single entrance except from this one. So confusing. <laughs> There you are. You're welcome. Enjoy. Do you have the code, please? Thank you. Oh, it does not want us to take a break tonight. Right on to another order from a Foon and White store. Here we go. This is the building. Hey, mate. Delivery for flat 14. Doesn't, they've just put an email address for some reason, not sure why, but it's apartment 14. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah. Just, just leave it there. Yeah, it, it's ice cream, so... Yeah, so I'm okay. take it off. I do need to get a code as well from them. Perfect. Cheers mate, thank you. Oh my god, and look at that guy, straight on to another order, man. Tonight is busy. I'm guessing it's because of the weather, people aren't wanting to go out and order. £5.67, it's taking us just south of Hyde Park. I will take that one. That was absolutely beautiful building though. Some of the places I get to deliver to are just breathtaking. Seriously breathtaking. Oh, my bad guys. We're picking up from south of Hyde Park. We're not delivering to south of Hyde Park. We're delivering to north of Hyde Park, so pretty much where we just picked up from, like, sort of Paddington area. But we need to go pick up the order first. I already forgot what restaurant it was from so i will find out when i get there and let you guys know we're currently down in south kensington uh we are picking up from somewhere just on the left here so unfortunately we're not going to get to go down past harrods but harrods is basically a little bit more forward on the left and it looks absolutely beautiful at night so i wish i could show you that on the camera maybe we'll get a chance later on in this video oh you gotta be kidding me the place i wanted to turn left is uh got roadworks going on all the way down oh we're gonna have to find an, uh, an alternative route here can we go left here i think we can yeah let's go left here see if we can work ourselves around the back of it it looked like the whole street was shut off to roadworks which is pretty typical but i'd rather be on this side than that side because that is a main road but perfect little solo motorcycle parking spot here we can just nip in here what we're picking up here we're picking up a lentil soup and some hummus with meat very nice and the restaurant is called Mazgoof. probably butchering that massively if anyone knows how that's pronounced please let me know it's a very fancy restaurant though we are in south kensington these places charge a lot of money to, uh, to eat here cheers mate thank you that's perfect our order was sitting there ready <laughs> 
turns out this custom is actually way further than what I thought. They're not up near Paddington, they're actually near where we started this video, all the way up near Swiss Cottage. 2.4 miles should take us about 15 minutes, so you know what that means? I think it's time for a driving montage. Oh, it looks like there's a lot of traffic up here. Luckily, we can uh, zip in and out of some of these cars, though. It is a little bit more difficult than being on a bicycle, but definitely not as bad as being in a car, that's for sure. What's the code, sorry? 55. Yeah, thank you. There we go, kind of difficult to do with one hand. Customer just wanted me to leave it on the floor outside their door. That happens every now and again, and more than happy to do that. Oh, guys, I was just changing my battery over for the GoPro. Just about to tell you guys how nice it was that we haven't caught an order so we can rest for a second. But nope, order coming through from NepNep for £4.64. Taking us further north, up towards actually uh, St John's uh, Wood. So I will take it. That's quite a nice area to go and deliver to. Oh, the restaurant's only one minute away, so I didn't realise how close it was. We're looking for NepNep. I'm not sure if this is a restaurant or if it's a uh, supermarket. Ah, here we go, nap nap. Pho, ooh nice, it's Vietnamese food. I do love some Vietnamese food. Hey, at 6556. That's great, thank you. Oh guys, look at this, unbelievable. The rain has started to come down again. Hello guys, just jumping in with a voiceover here. Unfortunately, the rain did get the best of us today and it ended up destroying the connection between my GoPro and the mic. So unfortunately, the rest of the audio is unusable. It sounds very, very bad. I don't want to put you guys through that. But don't worry, this isn't the end of the video. I'm just going to put some nice karma music on for the rest of the video to play out. But this is going to be the last time you hear my voice. So if you have enjoyed today's video, then be sure to drop a like down below. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button. And like always, thank you for watching. Now enjoy the rest of the video.